So guys, sometimes we get an Ethernet connection, but we don't have any access point. So if we need to use this internet in our mobile phone, we cannot use it because of the access point. So today in this video, we are going to solve this problem by creating a hotspot. So we will use this Ethernet connection and create a hotspot from our laptop so that we can use it in our mobile phone as well. So let's disconnect the Wi-Fi first. So this is disconnected. And now let's go to the Ethernet settings. so this is our ethernet setting so here you will notice that i am connected to network 12 so this is my ethernet connection and it is stating that it is a public network and if i go down i i will have the ip address and all the other settings so this is my ethernet connection so to create the hotspot we have to go to network and internet and you will find the option for mobile hotspot so switch it on and we are going to share our internet connection from ethernet 2 so it will state ethernet 1 or 2 so i am connected to ethernet 2 and we will be sharing over wi-fi and now it has switched on the wi-fi so here you have the credentials and the network name so i'm going to change the password at first so let's put a simple password 01234567 and network band you can either select 2.4 or 5g as that but i have left it to any available so it will select automatically and now i'm going to connect it in my mobile so let's put the password and it is connected so here you can see that it came under the list as well so device name iphone and the ip assigned and the physical mac address as well so it is connected so now if i check in my mobile if i browse something you can see that it is browsing it means that it is working properly we can do a speed test as well so i am connected to the same network name which you can see here and you can compare it on the screen as well so let's do a speed test as well so we go to speed test and uh, we will try that it is working or not so let's go to this website accept okay and we are going to continue in the browser so you can see that we have a very good internet speed so it means our hotspot is working properly so now i'm going to show you some other things so let's go to network settings so ncpa.cpl And this is our network control panel so here i have a wi-fi adapter which is microsoft wi-fi direct so this one is used to create the hotspot so if i switch off the hotspot and i go to the network adapter again so let's refresh here and you will notice here that it doesn't have internet access so it is saying no network access it means that it doesn't have internet access so if i close this one and i'm going to restart the hotspot again so we are sharing from ethernet too so it will be shared over wi-fi so everything is set and i'm going to switch it on again so as soon as i switch on the uh, mobile hotspot and i refresh here now this net uh, this network adapter will have internet so you can see ipv4 internet access so if i browse anything from my mobile you will notice that i have the network packets which are being sent and received so you can see that i have uh, this number of packets which are sent and received so our internet access is now uh, successfully working so this is fixed so i'm going to show you how can you fix some other settings so if for example if you have no internet access or uh, if you have any other error how can you fix them so let's close this one so if you are using for example ethernet 2 or ethernet 1 you have to double click on the ethernet adapter from where you are sharing so i'm using ethernet 2 you have to go to sharing and you have to allow other network users so you have to allow this and from the network adapter list you have to select the same uh, adapter which is used for hotspot for for example in our case it is local area connection 10 so we have to select local area connection 10 so that we can share our internet from ethernet to the hotspot adapter so we press ok and if you are using the ethernet which is the first one you have to do the same thing as well so go to the ethernet setting and then you have to do the sharing so enable this one and you have to select the same adapter which is used for mobile hotspot in this way you will be able to share the internet so it shouldn't be a problem but sometimes you might find no internet access and now i'm going to show you the service which is responsible for internet sharing as well so if your mobile hotspot is not working you have to check that service as well so let's close this one and we go to services so let's maximize it and here we will press i and uh, there is this service internet connection sharing so this service is responsible for internet sharing so if this one is disabled your hotspot will not not work properly so this can be automatic as well but it is uh, selected as manual because as soon as we switch on the hotspot or uh, the sharing it will be switched on on its own so you can see that if i uh, try to switch it off now my hotspot will be switched off 
so let's go to hotspot and you will notice that it is switched off so let's turn it on again and then we are going to interrupt the service again so this is the service so i'm going to stop this service again so this one is stopped but it will say windows cannot stop but as soon as i go to hotspot again you will notice that it is switched off so this service is directly responsible for the internet sharing so you have to check this service as well and then you have to check the sharing settings so if those settings are not good you will not have internet in your hotspot so this is the only problem that we sometimes we can face so i hope that you will like this video so if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section as well and let me know if you managed to create the hotspot successfully thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video